Welcome to Wednesday Words. Um, Jackie Bednarz and myself, George Sproul, will be talking today about our prison ministry. This ministry got started in 2014, which was just about a year after Shelby Owen became our priest in charge. She had come from uh, being the assistant director at Trinity and while there she had known a person who subsequently was incarcerated at Augusta Correctional Center. Uh, and that person uh, wrote her a letter in May of 2014 saying that he missed Episcopal services and was interested in having someone come out on some kind of recurring basis to lead a service that wasn't as conservative or evangelical as what they usually got. So Shelby wasn't sure about whether that's something that we were up for, but she asked a few people and was surprised to find that there were a number of people who uh, thought that might be an interesting and uh, fruitful way to spread the word. So we started getting involved in uh, how volunteers can get into the prison. Uh, we found that you had to have training and applications and background checks. And um, so that took most of the summer and the fall. The first time we actually went to the prison for a service was the eve of Christmas Eve 2014. We did a uh, service of lessons and carols at that point. And thereafter, we were scheduled once a quarter to go out and have a Vesper service. Uh, the initial group was about four or five of us, but over the years we've had uh, maybe 12 to 15 people who have participated. Music is a big part of the service that we provide out there. We have several guitars and a banjo and a bag of rhythm instruments that are handed out to the inmates uh, so that they can participate. They can sing along and play the instruments and uh, we all make a joyful noise. When we started, we were trying to do mostly hymns from the hymnal uh, but we early on got a little uh, hint from our friend out there who said the hymns are nice but the guys really don't know them and it might be nice to use some uh, religious songs that weren't in the Episcopal hymn book. Um, I still think it's good to have at least one good hymn but uh, the inmates uh, respond much more enthusiastically about things like this little light of mine and I'll fly away. So we are doing more of those sorts of songs. Uh, we've recently uh, been talking about working up some songs that are in Spanish because the folks out there are um, largely black and brown people and uh, a fair number, I am sure, are primary Spanish speakers. So I've taken up all of the talk and I will let Jackie speak to you about some more process. Thank you, George. What George didn't tell you is for the first time in two and a half years when we were in COVID era, we got to go back to the prison. So this was mid-July. And I have to tell you, the spirit was in that room, in that gymnasium where we meet. The um, inmates sang with great love and passion, even our hymns and the and the uh, this little light of mine. And they also uh, gave very heartfelt, emotional testimonies uh, about their time during uh, their time uh, inside during. COVID, finding the Lord, what the Lord means to them. 
the well-warmed Bibles many of them bring into the gymnasium is, um, is something that I always take note of. It really uh, is a, a moving experience to be out there and probably for me, it was more so this past July because it had been so, so long a gap since we had seen these, these men, some familiar faces, some new faces, some had actually been released uh, during COVID time. But for those of you who are looking for perhaps a new ministry, a new way to, to serve and, and use your talents, uh, I'm here to tell you I have no musical talent. So although music is a big part of this, you don't really need any particular musical inclination. Uh, the, the spirit moves you to sing even, even uh, if, you're, if it's not your, your first gift. But many of you may be wondering what the commitment is and what the process is. The commitment, as George said, uh, the formal commitment is uh, four, five times a year. We do a service at the Augustal Correctional uh, Center in Craigsville, Virginia. Typically, we go in a bit of a caravan, so not everyone has to drive. We rehearse uh, moderately beforehand, so after a service here at Emmanuel or just before we depart in the cars to go, uh, we rehearse a little bit. For those who are so inclined, you can write letters to the inmates. All of the mail coming and going uh, comes through the church, so you don't need to disclose your personal address. Um, and the process, George outlined briefly, uh, it hasn't changed since the beginning back in 2014. There's a formal application uh, that you fill out. I believe it's a form from the uh, Virginia Department of Corrections. You do go to the, pol I went to the police department here in Stanton, although if you don't live in the city of Stanton, perhaps you can go to the sheriff's office and you have to be fingerprinted. They do run a background check on all volunteers. There is a formal training uh, program I took my training one Saturday morning, so it was a one and done. Uh, and it covers a broad uh, area of topics, a range of topics that the Virginia Correctional Department gives to all volunteers, whether it's prison ministry or some other type of volunteer service. And on occasion, we get updated training, as we had to in mid-July on uh, prison gang violence. So. Uh, the, the training is, again, what any volunteer coming in and out of the ACC gets. So the time commitment is um, minimal and the rewards are terrific. One particular inmate who has been released uh, after a couple of decades out there in his, in his 50s or maybe his early 60s when he was released, he has since uh, settled in Tennessee and gotten a job and continues to write to, to Jackie and to me. Um, very proud of his, uh, uh, his work. Uh, he's had several promotions and raises and uh, he is ever grateful for the contact we had out there. So one more word about the music is uh, indeed you don't have to be terribly musical and you don't have to be professional. We are we are uh, sort of a ragtag group of, of people who strum guitars. Um, we do take an extra guitar out because there's one inmate who uh, likes to join us on the guitar. And we have uh, a keyboard player who uh, has learned to play the keyboard uh, since he was incarcerated. Uh, and he is quite adept at just playing along. We give him a key and give him a sort of what the tune is and he plays along uh, quite well. So that and a lot of singing and terrible acoustics in the, uh, in the gymnasium uh, makes for a joyful noise. Our next opportunity to go out will be in October. And uh, there has been some discussion off and on of seeing if we can arrange to go more often than once a quarter. It does seem awfully uh, long 
time between our, our visits. And time is, is what they are dealing with out there. So I hope some of you will join us and uh, we uh, will continue our, our mission out there.